And we're back with big developments in the deadly ignition switch scandal involving General Motors. The company has agreed to pay a record-setting $35 million fine. Yeah, what may be more shocking than that number, federal investigators revealed that GM was aware of the problem and said nothing. News 4's Mark Santia live in Port Chester with the example this is setting for the auto industry. Mark. And Tom, you're right. Today, the government wanted to send a message to all automotive companies. And today, that message was heard loud and clear. A historic fine. GM must pay up for delays in reporting and recalling cars with faulty ignition switches that are linked to at least 13 deaths. What we will never accept is a person or a company that knows danger exists and says nothing. While the automaker has been replacing that ignition switch in their older, smaller model cars, they are also working to fix another issue, trust. I probably wouldn't buy the product um, just because I like honesty. Clearly that's going to be an issue. Is they're going to have to do trust repair and repair their brand. Fordham professor, author, and director of a consortium for trustworthy organizations, Dr. Robert Hurley says today's penalty from NHTSA affects everyone. Imagine you're getting into your car and it's a GM car and you're grabbing the steering wheel and you're thinking, all right, can I trust this vehicle? As part of the announcement today, GM has also agreed to government oversight on safety, pledging to report problems much faster than in the past. Dr. Hurley says regulators cannot solely restore confidence in a company. The company must earn that trust back, and he believes GM CEO Mary Barra is on the right road. The signals are good that she's approaching this in a robust, systemic way to really, uh, truly repair trustworthiness. It's good to fess up and take the blame. Gino R. Curry has a GM truck at home and says he appreciates the company taking responsibility. That move will keep this GM customer loyal. GM CEO released a statement today saying, quote, we have learned a great deal from this recall. We will now focus on the goal of becoming an industry leader in safety. We're live tonight in Port Chester. I'm Mark Santia, News 4 New York. Mark, thank you. The